Welcome to another edition of Speak English Fluently. I'm your host, Steve Hatherly, and today I'm very excited because my guests are fellow podcasters. I think this is the first time I've had the opportunity to say this. Jack McBain and Kevin Mitchell both come from the United States of America, both majored in communication in university, and both host a podcast called A to Z English Podcast. They have a shared love of podcasting, as do I. They have lots of experience teaching English at the university level here in Korea. I believe uh, they've been doing it for over 15 plus years. That's a long time. And I think maybe collectively, we have a shared love of dogs as well. At least I do with, <laughs> with Kevin. Let me say yeah. hello to my guests today, Jack McBain and Kevin Mitchell. Fellas, welcome to the show. Thank hey, you. Steve. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Good evening. Absolutely. Good evening to you. Kevin, has anyone ever told you, you look like Neil Patrick Harris? That I haven't heard. <laughs> You've never heard that before. Is that it... one, no. I, I do have a lot of Korean students tell me I look like um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, though. interesting. And I don't agree, but I think I see where they get it because I have a relatively narrow face. All right. And yeah. Mr. Cumberbatch does as well. And I think there's a lot of just, yeah foreigner foreigner with somewhat similar face structures podcast and, show yeah. idea for you guys which celebrity do you look like most <laughs> <laughs> i'm not sure i want to hear the answer to that to be honest there's a reason that we are podcasters yeah. and not video right, video right. stars i yeah. will ask you about that in a moment's time yep. but uh let's talk a little bit about you guys before we turn our focus to your podcast. Uh, Jack, maybe we can start with you and you can tell us a little bit about yourself. You sure. Um, I actually came to Asia about 20 so years ago. Um, I started teaching at the university level in Korea in 2006, and I've been at the same school for 17 years. Wow. So yeah, yeah. That's a so. testament to uh, how good a teacher you are, obviously. <laughs> I think True. so. Uh, well, either that or they're too lazy to try to find <laughs> a, another teacher. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize that would be my forever job. But, mm. uh, you know, you, you kind of accidentally stumble into these things sometimes in life. That so. is how it goes. Where yeah. in Korea are you located? So I'm in Pyeongtaek, uh, but I actually teach in Ansong, which is the next city over. So not far from where I live. Great to meet you. Kevin, how about yes, you? Likewise. Um, so similar to Jack, I think I didn't a plan to be a teacher for forever either. And here I am almost almost 20 years into being a teacher total, Goodness. not all of it in Korea. But it started when I was a student in university and I just did it as a part-time job and I liked it. It was fun. I enjoy teaching. I like being with students. And then I moved to Korea and started working at the university here. And yeah, I've been doing the same thing for almost 20 years total as, as well. Korea is a, a, a nice place to live, a nice place to, to teach in some ways. I completely concur. So the relationship between you two, does it go back to America? Did you meet here in Korea? Did you teach at the same school? We do teach at the same school. Mm, so, yep. yes. Like like a lot of friend friendships that develop uh, after university, uh, our, our friendship began because we teach at the same university. Um, he's at the Seoul campus. I'm right. uh, out in the Gyeonggi Do area uh, outside of Seoul. Um, but yeah, we have we have been friends for a long time now. So yeah, yeah, we've been working at the same uni since <laughs> since I started thirteen years ago. Yeah. So when did the idea? Let's get into it now. When did the idea for the A to Z, uh, A to Z English podcast begin? Was that early on in your friendship? Something that you maybe mentioned once or twice? Maybe let's do it later. Or was it one person's idea and you decided to start right away? Tell us about that. Um, do you want me to handle this one, Kev? Field this yeah, one. Yeah, I think this should be yours because the podcast really was your idea it was something that i think we were 
bored during COVID, and then it went from there. So go ahead. But you've you've been interested yeah. for a long time in podcasts. Well, right. I mean, it it's kind of like you know you want you go to a a blockbuster movie and you say I want to be an actor. I want to make movies. You know, some, but the threshold is too high. It's too difficult to do that. But mm. when I really got into podcasting. I was like, you know what? It's not that difficult to start a podcast. Mm. It's difficult to build a a, a community of listeners, uh, but right. it was something that was just kind of eating away at me for a while. And finally, I asked Kevin and another friend of ours, I said, you know what, guys? Let's start a podcast. And we actually started a podcast called The Soul Patch, uh, which is a pun, S-E-O-U-L. And we just talked about Korea-related topics. I've heard of that podcast. I, I must admit, oh, really? I must admit, I apologize. I, I, I don't think I've heard an episode, but I know that I've heard of that podcast before. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That's well, that's cool. uh, inspiring. That's, yeah, that's right. awesome. Yeah. Um, we... What happened was we kind of decided to make a kind of right turn towards something that was maybe a little more practical for listeners, which was a language learning podcast, which combines my love of podcasting. And I think Kevin also enjoys it and also our experience as English teachers. And so that's what started the A to Z English podcast. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. So it wasn't a tough sell, I guess, for you then, Kevin, to come on board and, and join Jack? Well, like I was saying a minute ago, it really started at first during the COVID pandemic when right. we were all just stuck at home and not meeting friends and not being social. And so Jack got in touch and said, hey, do you guys want to hang out and talk about Korea and mm -hmm. record it and publish it? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that." That sounds fun because I was just lonely. <laughs> I needed friends. I needed something to do. And there it just started and it just got better. And, and it was fun to do. It was fun just to, to hang out and talk with, with cool people. So that suggests to me then that the podcast is about two years old, roughly? Um, yeah, Actually, I would yeah. say, yeah, but we started the Soul Patch about two years ago. Yep. And we've been doing the A to Z podcast for about three months. Um, it's still new. The Soul Patch is on hiatus, but we plan to bring that back once a week uh, soon. So the A to Z podcast, if you have to d give a description about what it is, then what would that description be? Kevin, I'll let you field this one. So... And the A to Z English podcast is a podcast for English learners, of course, people who want to, to learn English, but it's focused on listening to native speakers just talk and explain things in a kind of natural conversation with homework attached, right? So there's, you can listen to Jack and I and our other host, So Chill, she's not here at the moment. You can just listen to us talk about different things or explain some idioms, or sometimes we get into some grammar too, but grammar is not as exciting. But it's just us talking about topics so that listeners can get a feel for what native English conversations sound like. Hmm. And like I said, there's homework connected. So it's not just listening, it's listen and you know answer some questions and focus. So there's a, a study element for for our listeners and the students as well well yes i did listen to a handful of the podcasts one of nice. them was grammar related related yep. to the present voice and the past voice i okay. think talking mm -hmm. about a being eaten by a giant sandwich was a sentence that stood <laughs> out stood out uh, to passive me passive and active yeah my passive first and voice active uh, voice, right yeah. my first thought was what kind of sandwich would I want that to be? <laughs> <laughs> a good question. That's a good question. I, yeah, that's a good question. Right. I, I would say ham and cheese if you had to ask. If I if you really pushed me, but not uh, not a bad yeah. answer. Yeah. Um, another episode was about um, everyday idioms. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So there seems to be quite a variety of topics that you study, but or that you uh, present. But 
when you do when you did come up with the idea initially it's kind of such a broad spectrum isn't it to mm -hmm. start english yeah and yeah english and then a podcast about english so oh, okay well where where do we begin where do we go so that very first episode that you did if you can remember back that far how did you decide what the content would be that's well, a great I think question. probably our second yeah. one. The first one was probably just an introduction. Okay, for, fair enough. Yes. But then, yeah, after that, and that's honestly, topics is one of the hardest parts mm. of, of thinking of new episodes for grammar, for idioms, and, and for our chats. For the chats, it's just things that Jack and I are interested in. Okay. And, and, and hopefully topics that our audience are interested in as well. So we have a lot of young listeners, so we're trying to find more younger topics because we are not so young and we're trying to relate. Jack, how do you come up with your our topics? Well, I think it goes back to my experience as a teacher. I think one of the mm. pitfalls that a lot of teachers, they come to another country to teach English and they go, today I am going to teach the present uh, tense and the present continuous tense. And when I leave after my one hour or whatever, everybody will understand completely what I just lectured because I, I know that I organized my lessons so well. Hmm. And then I come back the next day and everybody's making the same mistakes that they were before I lectured. Hmm. And what you have to, to realize is that if you create a lesson uh, for the classroom or a podcast episode or something they're just listeners are going to take away maybe if you're lucky one little piece of something that they hadn't put together but this idea that we're going to kind of solve the problem of tense or whatever is i, I mean it's a trap a lot of teachers fall into especially new teachers um, but for us, we don't, we try not to worry about, you know, them understanding everything. If they can just take out one or two key points, uh, during that, that lesson, I would mm -hmm. consider that a success mm -hmm. yeah. uh, in my mind. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's a great point is that if there's something, because everybody learns differently. Also, everybody has their own agenda too, right? About mm -hmm. what they need to improve or what, what they want to learn in the first place. So yeah, designing a, an episode where you can take away one or two or three things, then yeah, that has to be considered a success. So let's talk, exactly. let's talk about the, the structures of the episodes. Do they follow a, a similar breakdown each time you do it? Um, the way that we have been organizing it lately is that we try to do, we try to evenly distribute the types of episodes that we are recording. So we have uh, what we call quick chats, and those are just conversations. And mm -hmm. what we do is we just kind of freestyle a conversation between the three of us or two of us. And then we go back and we kind of cherry pick vocabulary and put that into a study guide, provide a transcript for the students. But in essence, it just gives them an opportunity to listen to a real time conversation mm. between two native speakers. Yeah. Um, the other two types of episodes that we have are where we we have three idioms and we just explain the meaning of them because you know idioms can be very difficult to understand some of them are i don't even know the genesis of a lot of you know idioms like sure. they're so old you know like talking about like a horse you know lead a horse to water or right. something um the other type is the the grammar episode that you listen to and we're trying to kind of go through different grammar points and provide examples and I think those are maybe the hardest to translate through a podcast mm -hmm. uh, format because you don't have a whiteboard, you don't have, you know, you can't draw a timeline mm -hmm. and things like that. So, uh, but those are the three basic types of episodes that we have re been recording uh, most recently. Yep. Uh, which ones, Kevin, are your favorite ones to do? 
Oh, the the quick chats are the most the, the easiest and the most fun because I mean, like we said, it's we started this podcast just to hang out with friends, mm. and that's what that is. The quick chat is just hanging out with with Jack or Sochil and and just talking about something. So those are fun. I would say that the the grammar and the idioms ones though are kind of interesting to do as well because. Jack and I's relationship for the past many years has just been a friend relationship. We didn't、mm. teach together,、mm. but in those episodes, it's much more teaching.、Right? It's、mm. like here's a grammar, here's an idiom. How do you do it? And it's very interesting to see his style of thinking of ideas, or my style of thinking of ideas, and how those translate into audio and into podcasts. And so, even though they're not as fun. Necessarily to record, they're equally interesting just to do it with someone else. You get to feel what it feels like to be a student in Jack's classroom, and <laughs> in conversely, in Kevin's、yeah. classroom when you sit back and listen on the podcast to how each of you might explain a different grammar point or an idiom.、Yep. And I'm guessing that helps because you can take that to your own classrooms in your university and apply those things there. Yeah, it's amazing what you can learn from other teachers、mm. as as well. Oh, absolutely! And the you know the analogies that he'll use are some that I had never thought of. Yeah, right. And, and same you know, for I, you, of course. Well, yeah, and I, you know,、That's、you、great. tend to lean into the same ones over and over again、yeah. every year after year, and it's it's nice to just watch someone else do it, and it opens up a whole、uh, you know new、mm. world for you. So. Yeah. So you、really、mentioned、useful. you mentioned homework.、Uh, is that homework given at the end of each of the podcasts, regardless of whether it's a grammar episode or an idioms episode or a quick chats episode or a Jack's chats episode? I didn't bring that up, but we're going to talk about that in a moment too.、Uh, is it does it follow that format? There's homework at the end of of each and every episode. Yeah,、uh, Kev, do you want to?、Uh... Talk about this.、So、there is different types of homework at the end of each episode. For each episode, we do ask questions for everyone. So the the most basic style of homework is simply asking our listeners to come to our WhatsApp group. We have a WhatsApp group for anyone to come and and just talk to us and practice. Tell us what very that, helpful. Tell us what、them. that is, please. So WhatsApp is just a chat program. Of course, I'm sure all of our young listeners know it better than I do. And we just have a WhatsApp chat room for A to Z English and a couple of other ones as well, where any listener can just come and talk to us and other teachers as well in there. And so a lot of our homework is, you know, today we're talking about the weather. Come and tell us about your favorite weather. What、mm -hmm. season do you like? Or just some simple questions at、mm -hmm. the end. Some of our episodes, like the idioms, for example, that's a little bit more structured, and we have a PDF file connected with those, where they can download the PDF. There's some questions that they can fill out, and they can come to the WhatsApp group again to share their example sentences using the idiom or using the grammar points, and then we will comment and reply and say, "Oh, good job," or "Oh, fix this," or things like that. So it's it's a lot of self study. But those WhatsApp groups do give us some interaction and allow us to work with students after as well. Yes, absolutely. It's it's very、uh, it's a great resource actually for us as well as the students. So,、uh, for example,、um, if we're brainstorming an episode、uh, idea, we can bring that to the WhatsApp group. Students will、mm -hmm. give us feedback. They'll tell us what do you、mm -hmm. like about this? What what is not working for you?、Um, something that we I'd be remiss if I didn't、uh, say we make a transcript、uh, through yep, you know、uh, AI technology. You can you know punch it into、uh, Microsoft Word and it will spit out a a whole transcript that we can add to the the study guide, and so. You know, there's just a lot, a lot of different ways that students can interact or interface with our content that doesn't just require listening, but they can also read along.、Um, they can make their own sentences and upload those to put them in WhatsApp.、Uh, 
get some feedback from us in real time. So I just, uh, this is what's different about the A to Z English podcast than our Soul Patch podcast. Mm, The Soul Patch podcast was more entertainment. Mm -hmm. This is more educational. So it does require a little more effort on the back end as far as marketing and things like that. And so, but it's, it really pays off when you uh, get positive feedback from students Mm -hmm. in the WhatsApp group. That's a beautiful thing about podcasting in general is that everyone, all of our listeners can do what they want. If they Mm -hmm. just want to come and listen, great. Mm -hmm. Just come and listen. If you want to do the the homework, the PDF file by yourself, check our webpage. It's there and do that. Mm -hmm. If you want to come and talk to us, come and talk to us. Now, if you want to do all of it, do all of it as well. It's it's up for them to choose how much they want to study. You can be as active or as passive as you would like to be in terms Mm -hmm. of you being a learner. Exactly. Very much so. So why podcasting as opposed to doing something in front of a camera? I wonder. (laughs) Um, Again, I think the barrier to entry is much lower for a podcast. Um, All we had to do was purchase some microphones. Mm -hmm. And I just had to go in and figure out, okay, what platform are we going to use to upload our, our podcast? And I, I love podcasting. Mm-hmm. I, I, I also enjoy audiobooks, but I've kind of uh, transitioned into just listening to a lot of different podcasts. And I don't know. It's just uh, I just love that medium so much. And I, I think YouTube kind of requires your, your more of your attention. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, I can, uh, do chores around the house and vacuum and, and mop the floors while I listen to a podcast. Um, but that's a little harder to do while watching a, a YouTube video. And so, and I'm 45 years old, so I kind of <laughs> missed the boat when it no, comes no. to, <laughs> hey, no, no, you don't get to throw that card down. Not, not, not with this audience. I'm sorry. All right, all right. You can keep okay. that for the your, your for your classroom <laughs> students. Uh, so, what does the future hold then in terms of content? Maybe you can tell us about the most recent episode that you did, and maybe some uh, something that you have coming up soon. Well, actually, Kevin doesn't even know about this because I just created something called Jack Chats. I'm and, looking yeah, at Ke- oh, Steve okay. here so, mentioned that a second yeah. ago, and yeah, I was so like, this like is, "What is this that?" Is, <laughs> <laughs> this is Jack new Jack. news for you, Kevin. I, I was watching your facial expression when Jack said, actually, Kevin doesn't know about this. And you, you had this wonderfully blank stare, a wonderful blank stare on your face. So wait, now, now I'm curious. I knew more about the podcast for a brief moment than Kevin did. So, <laughs> so it go, seems go on. Jack, what is this? What is this secret <laughs> okay. new project of yours? So, this is okay. great. <laughs> well, we, it, because we have three uh, members of our, you know, three hosts of our show, one actually uh, lives in the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kevin and I are in Korea. Um, we're all busy and our schedules mm-hmm. are crazy, but we're trying to build up more content. And so something that I wanted to do was to try a solo podcast where I'm just creating. I just do like a. it's almost it's almost like a confessional kind of thing where I mm. just share some of my ideas, things that are happening in my life, um, things that might be happening in the world news or th- something that somebody mentioned in the WhatsApp group. I might talk about that. Mm-hmm. And it's just me basically in front of my mic, just kind of stream of consciousness for 10 or 15 minutes. And I just wanted to upload that and give students Something, if they're craving content in between our three episodes that we release during the week, because we release episodes basically uh, Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. But if they were looking for something just to kind of satiate that uh, urge to listen, um, I'm going to throw up a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, Jack chat. And of course... It could be a Kevin chat or a social chat or a Jack and Kevin chat. It's uh, it's not Steve just chat. Mine. Is that maybe in the cards in the future? 
Uh, I'm sorry, one more time. A Steve chat? Is that a, a possibility? Steve hey, Absolutely, yes. Steve. <laughs> you not? are always welcome. Do not to... give me a microphone. That is your biggest mistake. I'll talk for hours. <laughs> well, that's the great thing about A to Z podcasts is that S is between A and Z. So <laughs> Steve Steve fits right in there. There you go. There Perfect. You go. Yeah. So we're talking then for the students, for your audience, you're talking, uh, it was three episodes a week, but now we're looking at upwards of four five possibly more episodes a week in the future uh, what i'm hoping to do is to do three jack chats or you know uh solo chats uh and then three of our regular episodes and that will give students six days of content uh during the week and you know just to keep that momentum going mm -hmm. as we're we're a young podcast mm -hmm. and i mean the the market is saturated sure i mean it's just you you work so hard and you kind of hit this this glass ceiling and trying to break through any way you can you have to kind of throw everything in including the kitchen sink you know at it on in order to try to you know break through to the next level mm -hmm. so that's kind of where we are right now and uh so we're just trying trying everything yeah. Nice. And I think I'm going to have to listen to some of these Jack chats as well. Just, I knew I, wanna... I knew I knew there was a passive aggressive comment coming in the very near future. <laughs> oh, I'm just curious. I want to know what Jack is thinking. He's a friend of mine. So get some more insight into, into the mind of Jack. Stay, tuned, mind. stay yeah. tuned for episode one of Kevin's chats coming up in the near future. I think <laughs> right. the rebuttal well, this... rebuttal <laughs> chats. Yeah. Well, Jack, did you know, actually <laughs> now do, have you introduced this uh to your students in your in your university classrooms have they uh given you any feedback any ideas on what they think about this project i as a matter of fact i actually just did last week um i framed it in a way that it, it to be kind of diplomatic mm -hmm. about it you know i wasn't like um if you want an A in my class, you <laughs> right. have to download, uh, you know, 10 Listen podcasts. To my podcast. <laughs> yeah. Wink, wink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but I do think that what we are doing is creating useful content mm. that students could find very helpful. And so I just put it up there on the on the whiteboard for my students to say, hey, if you guys are looking for, you know, some supplementary material uh, we've got these episodes they're easy to listen to you can stream it right off of our website and it's very much related to what we are studying uh in our in our book so i do put it out there but i'm very careful to say hey this sure. is just another op opportunity for you to yeah, do right. self-study but because I think it can get it can get a little um, dicey. Yeah, it's a little pushy. If, if you're too pushy with it, is, yeah, exactly. You're it's like buy my book. Line. Sure, Listen exactly. to my right, right, Well, yeah. that's kind of the way right. it goes in Canada, where I'm from. Buy my yeah, book, yeah. but that's par for the course. Uh, Kevin, what are some ideas maybe that you've had for for future episodes? Some some content that you'd like to introduce. You do the idioms now. You do. Uh, some grammar episodes now. Any other uh, avenues you'd like to pursue? Well, so I'm not really big into social media very much, but our third member, Sochil, who isn't here, unfortunately, right now, she's very into social media. And see, she was saying that she wants to start a TikTok. Oh, dear. Us. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not... Quick, tell Jack what TikTok is. <laughs> it well, obviously it has app, something to do with Jack. a clock, right? <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> so... I know, and I don't do TikTok, I don't do social media, so I want to leave that up to Sochil, mm. but I was thinking I could still record videos and send that to her and she could mm. upload them. And one thing that many of our listeners have said is that I speak very quickly. Mm. Right now I'm trying to remember to speak slowly for all the listeners tonight. And so I was thinking it could be very fun for me to record some tongue twister TikToks. That's a mm -hmm. lot of tease. Okay. Um, basically where, you know, cause a TikTok is a short 10, 20, 30 second video of me just doing some English tongue twisters as fast as possible. And then challenging our, our audience, our listeners to, to mimic me. 
So I was thinking would, that could be fun. What would the first uh, TikTok tongue twister video be then? I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Oh, right right now. <laughs> well, I mean, one that I always practiced as a kid, of course, is rubby, rubber baby buggy bumpers is a fun <laughs> one. Or fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy. Wuzzy um, are, are very fun ones. And I think it could be interesting because every language has unique sounds. And in English, we've got those Zs and mm. the Vs, which sure. I know other languages don't have. And yeah. tongue twisters are a great way for people to practice pronunciation. I mean, I practiced English tongue twisters when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And it helped me in my English pronunciation. It could help anyone as well. So if I could give examples of saying it slowly, kind of fast, and then very fast, mm. it could be fun for me, fun for them, and something that people could could copy you mentioned uh, a facebook page or a facebook group a few moments ago could you elaborate on that a little bit please yeah so before social joined our our, our podcast team um i was kind of handling the social uh, media um poorly <laughs> i would say um i did the best i could but we do have a facebook page called the a to z i'm sorry i'll say that a little bit more slowly the a to z english podcast and i try to upload all of our uh all of our videos like we have a video for we have a youtube channel and we also so we do make videos but we don't put our actual video on there mm -hmm. it's just the audio gotcha. so yeah. some people like to listen on youtube and that's a, a large segment of people that are just you know that just don't aren't into the podcast thing mm -hmm. and so we put that into facebook as well and um we social we have an instagram as well um and uh our twitter is not yet up and running um you know, I'm still waiting to see if uh, Elon Musk purchases it or not. Before <laughs> sure. I well, to. if if he said he would, he'd probably back out. You know, maybe a couple of weeks later, right? <laughs> right, right. I, I'll I'll just wait. I'll, I'm holding off on that one. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so we're we're really trying to do more uh, social media uh, stuff. But you can watch, or sorry, you can listen to the podcast on Facebook, YouTube. Um, but I think the best place is to go to our website and just stream it yep. there because that's where the study guide is. So, yeah, but we're on all the major platforms, so you can find Spotify, us on Apple, Apple. Mm. yeah, Spotify, uh, Stitcher, all those. Very good. Yeah. All right. So give us the big sales pitch before we wrap up our conversation today. Why should a student of the English language listen to the A to Z English podcast? Kev, you're the, the comm major with, uh, with a master's degree. Knock it out. So you should come and listen to A to Z because we love podcasting. We love what we do. We've been teaching for a really long time. And we have a pretty good idea of how to share, how to explain the ideas that we want. And we're here to listen to your ideas as well and your comments and your feedback. So A to Z English is good practice for you to listen and to interact with us. And where else can you, where else can you do that for free on the internet? Right. As someone who's worked in media for a long time, I can tell when I'm listening to someone who is really into what they are doing and someone who is just kind of mailing it in, <clears throat> so to speak. Mm -hmm. That's expression said, to mail it in. Yes. So that <laughs> said, when I listen to your podcast, the two of you with your partner, I can tell, I can hear it. You really, really enjoy what you're doing. And that is enough for me to make me want to listen to it. If I if you're into it, nice. that's gonna make your students into it. And, and and that's and that's a good place to start. So well done. Congratulations on oh, the three months thanks, that you've Steve. done so. Thank far. you very much. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Jack McBain and Kevin Mitchell, you can find their podcast A to Z English Podcast. So that's A to Z English Podcast.com, right? And that's all yep. one word put together. That's right. Yep. Very good. You can also uh, use that as a, a kind of a doorway 
over to their Facebook group. You can join that. You can also yep. join. What am All I missing links. here? The uh, the WhatsApp group link is right there on the website as well. Perfect. So just go to the website and all yeah. the information you That's need is right there. One stop shop. Fantastic. Yeah. Once again, A to Z English podcast.com. Jack McBain and Kevin Mitchell, thank you so much for joining me on Speak English Fluently. And once again, congratulations on your success so far. And I wish you nothing Thanks. but uh, more success in the future. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much, Steve. Awesome, guys. Thanks Have a great night. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.